Hello, hello. Let's see. Just getting things set up. I'm going to try to be able to read comments from here on my tablet if I can. If it will let me. Hey, guys. Welcome in. Welcome in. Just getting set up here. One moment. I can't see chat at the moment, so bear with me. Let's see here. I'm trying to. Let's try something. Close this. Open that. Okay, I'm live there. How do I see? Ah, top chat. There we go. Hello, everyone. Hello. Let's see. No, that's not my chat. That's, is that my chat? Oh, yeah, that's my chat. All right, guys. Hey, welcome in. I'm just getting everything set up here. And see how this goes. We're going to try it this way today. So what we're doing is... I have been painting my toolbox, which is actually going to be my um, my art supply box. So art toolbox. Okay, that's just too confusing for me. I can't do it on there. Let's try something different here. Let's see. Working on this. Okay. There we go. Now I can see the chat. Okay. Hello, we've got Terrell, Patrick, Captain Jesse, and Audrey. Hi, guys. I'm going to have to go find a different hat because this one's driving me crazy, and I'm cold, so I need my hat. I'm going to have to go find the one I want. Bear with me one second. I will go check. If we go find my hat. I need that up here. We're going to make that a little smaller. All right. Give me one second to get all set up, guys, and then I will definitely uh, get to your questions while we do some painting. So give me one moment. I will be right back with you. Oh, goodness. Hang on. Hopefully I can do this without my boyfriend coming home. Um, he's working, so one second. Ugh. That's better. I know it doesn't match, but it's better. Okay. There. All right. Hey, hey, guys. All right. So I saw a couple of questions. Um, one was something about Confidry. And if you mean the Confidry 24 7, yes, I have used those. Um, not my not my favorite comfy care I have used or comfy dry or whatever they are. <clears throat> I 
The orange head is more comfortable. I braided my hair last night and it's a poofy mess. So it's driving me bonkers. But it's what it is. Oopsies. But yeah, so I got this all painted up, spray painted this morning with primer, today with primer. So it's finally all ready to paint. I had painted it white already, but it needed a coat of primer underneath it. So I had to get all the paint off and go back to the drawing board. And I am looking to paint this thing some sort of green, but more of like a tealish green. So yeah, absolutely love the new Tycables. Yes, they're fantastic. I've had one that I've tried and I was in love with it. So yeah, but let me get out all my paint colors here. Oh, a big okay. I don't know how some of these are because they were, oh, that one sounds terrible. Somebody gave these to me and they were somebody else's paints and I'm not sure how all of them are. So I'll be testing them out before I use them for sure. But dry 24 seven used to be better. Hey, I see Zach. Hello. Uh, is that acrylic paint? Yes, it is. I am doing acrylic paint on this. Basically what I'm doing is I have two bins of my art stuff and it's a mess and I need to consolidate it into a case that I can kind of pick up and carry around with me at least around the house. But when we move into the paint room or the craft room and all that, so I'm just doing it my style here. Probably not that one. That one looks pretty bad. But I have no idea how old some of these paints are. Like I'm kind of going for like slightly greener than this color here. But um, I'm not sure I can get to that real well without actually having the paint. So we're going to test it out and see. And once I kind of figure out the colors I need, we're going to go ahead and mix up a big, big tub of it because this is going to take at least two coats. So I think about trying the Magnifico diapers. Uh, the Magnifico diapers, I personally really like those. Um, a lot of people have not liked them for some reason. Like, a lot of people really haven't liked them. But I actually really like them. Because I am a little bit of a heavier set person, um, I kind of feel like the stretchiness of it works well for me. Hello, Devin. Welcome in, everybody. We're just kind of going to chat and paint. Because that's kind of what I do. Usually on a live stream, I'm doing something like something crafty. Yeah, yeah. I actually did not get. Oh, yeah, I did. I grabbed some yellow. Um, I'm going for more kind of a teal color. So I'm going to try to mix it up because I know I don't have enough of a single color of these. Especially seeing as I know that some of them are really freaking old. And gloopy and whatnot. Like, this is a nice color. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. So, but yeah. And I thought I would also get on because this re week is kind of a rough week for me. Um, in a couple days, it marks the, I think, five-year anniversary of my best friend's passing. And it's kind of a week I get really, really super depressed and um, just trying to keep myself cheered up is kind of a chore. So recently, I kind of love your channel. Hello, Veronica. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, so on top of it being kind of a rough week for me, it's also... My mom it lives in New York right now. She used to live in Tennessee. She moved back to New York. Um, and she's having her first art show in New York. And it's a very, very important series that she's painted that really means a lot to me and her. And my mom and I are very, very, very connected creatively. And um, it's really upsetting that I can't be there for it tomorrow. And... Uh, so it's like, I'm kind of just being a kind of a downer, I guess. So I'm trying to, trying to cheer myself up. So I'm going to 
see if I can show you guys this a little bit better. We'll back it up. So, but um, this week I'm also hoping to paint a kind of memorial piece to my friend because I've had a thought in my mind of something I wanted to do in remembrance of her for, oh God, four, three, four, three years now or so. And um, I'm kind of hoping if I can locate a canvas piece that I have, that I'm gonna do a painting for her. Yes, we are getting ready to move in uh, the end of April. So I'm kind of, whoa, this one's brand new, yes. Um, so I'm excited about it. We're going into a three bedroom town home. Um, and there's going to be a lot more room, a lot more storage. It's going to make life a little bit easier. And I did not peel it off all the way. Great. This has a plastic film on it too. Yay. Um, so yeah, we kind of, we weren't going to move in all honesty. We weren't going to move. But as it turns out, our current place is trying to jack up the price. And on top of that, they're charging for parking. And we just don't have the money to pay 50 bucks a month just for parking and have our rent increased. So we're kind of like, yeah, no, we're not going to stay around. So. But I, I like I wanted to move anyway. I'm kind of tired, <laughs> tired of this particular place. This is not my typical acrylic. This is craft paint, which I don't. Whoa, let's not get that on the carpet right now. I don't usually paint with craft paint. I usually like to use acrylic, but it was donated to me, so we're gonna we're gonna go with it. And I do have some like white acrylic that will give it a little bit more. Uh, whatever the word is, I don't know. But yeah, we will need a space. Yeah, it is. It was still sealed. Yep. All right. But honestly, I don't know how it's. It's pretty. It's actually fairly, fairly old. Um, I think this one's brand new too. But yep, they're both brand new. So, yep. But and I locked my. I just locked my cat in the dryer. I need to go open that up. I locked him in the closet. And I'm not sure he can get out at the moment. Uh, he's constantly getting locked in there because he just doesn't get out. But, oh, well. It's just life. So, yeah. I'm kind of chilling out home tonight. My boyfriend's out at work. They had a softball game tonight. So, I figured, well, he, and then he has to work his, soft, his second job on top of that. So, uh, I've got about four hours, I'm hoping before he gets home and sees the mess and flips out. But, uh, and now I've got bird feathers on me. So yeah, we're just gonna chill. <laughs> These are actually in a lot better shape than I expected them to be in. This one has been used before, so it may not be so happy. Oh, there's a chunk in there. Oh, crap. I mean, I guess it'll work for getting my colors, really. Let's take a look here. Um, which brush am I going to use? We're going to use this one. So. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. So let's try adding a little bit more white and a little bit of yellow. No, he's not super duper clean um, at all, really. Um, like he likes things to be clean, but he does not clean. So, but um, when there's a crafting mess, he tends to get a little bent out of shape when I just leave a complete mess. So, but I am pulling an all-nighter tonight. 
So he kind of has to deal with it at this point. Okay. I'm going to add a teeny bit more blue. I wonder if... Oh, that might have gone too dark. Yeah. Right now, I'm just playing around with colors here. Honestly, I want to just, like, dump this in there and see how much is there and just mix it with a little bit of white and a little bit of this darker color. So let's see what we get with that. I might have enough to do that. If I mix that with a little bit of this, or with this, I should say. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's been a little different lately because, like, my boyfriend is not, or I'm not working, and he's working two jobs. So I have a lot of time at the moment, or technically should have a lot of time. But uh, it never seems like there's enough. So, yeah. I like that color. Let me pull my water over here. I like that color, but I think it's still, I want it more teal. So, so what have you guys all been up to this week? What are your plans for the weekend? Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, I like that a lot. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dump, we're gonna dump a bunch of white in there. We're gonna dump a bunch of white and a bunch of this. We're just gonna empty this out into there pretty much and I'll adjust it as need be. All right, we'll let that go for a little bit. And then we're gonna put in, where's my white? I had a tube of white and I don't know what I did with it. Move it somewhere. What did I do with it? It was over here. Oh, goodness sakes. I'm feeling a lot floaty, hyper. Not too much hoping to have pretty slow. Yeah, I was hoping to do that, but my boyfriend has. Um, so they had one game tonight. Tomorrow they've got five games that they've got to do. And then. Saturday, they've got five games they got to do. And then Sunday, they've got four. And he has to work his second job on Sunday after all those games. So my life is pretty much going to be second shift at the moment. Or third shift, I guess you could say. I'm going to be pulling a lot of all-nighters because he has such a hard time waking up. So, all right. We're going to dump a bit of that in here. Where'd it go? There it is. So, but yeah, All right, well, I'm getting paint everywhere already. And for this, I need a big brush. So this will be, oh, that's such a gorgeous color. Look at that guys, it's beautiful. I hope that's enough paint. I know I went through half of this bottle the first time I painted it in just two coats of it, so. We'll see what this does. This is just the bottom color. I'm kind of wanting to really kind of deck it out. So. Graveyard shift does suck. Um, I don't mind like being up all night with all my insomnia. He is such a hard worker, Zach. I seriously am so proud of him. You know, he has a lot of anxiety issues as well, you know, so the fact that he's doing this and he's staying so strong is just amazing. And he gets so mad at himself when he has a bad day and it's like, Try to convince him, you know, that I'm proud of him and he's doing so amazingly well. And that I seriously, my my family, um, 
thinks that he's an angel. <laughs> My mom is always telling me he, that he's an angel and she thinks he's one of the most amazing men. And uh, she's super duper proud of him. So, and oh shit, hang on. I just painted my, my thing. So I'm painting on, I'm painting on uh, my, the opposite side of my cutting board for my rotary cutter when I'm sewing. And uh, yeah, so that way, if it gets a messy, it will wash off eventually. And it will not really matter because I just use the other side. So. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like, I wouldn't like working graveyard shift. All right, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. I think I'm going to paint the bottom first because it's got legs to stand on. So hopefully this is enough. I kind of want to just keep on mixing because... I still have more paint, so I think that's what I'm going to do. This one's almost out. Oh, graveyard for fast food. Yay. That would suck. Although I, I would think that it would be kind of quiet for fast food. Yeah, see my body tends to sleep, my body sleeps really weird. So if I am unmedicated for my insomnia, I will be up till about six in the morning. I will fall asleep at six and sleep till about 10 o'clock. And that's it. So I have to, sounds so funny. So I definitely have to medicate for my sleeping. Otherwise it's just beyond terrible and my seizures get worse. Just trying to squeeze every last bit of this out. I should have just bought spray paint, but then again, I wouldn't have been able to live stream it because I would have been outside. I'm always craving McDonald's. Like, there is never a day that I don't want McDonald's. Oh, goodness. <laughs> You're a nightclub. <laughs> Okay, I think we have officially hit rock bottom on this paint, which is okay. I think we'll have enough. I'm going to try to squeeze it out if I can. There's a little bit more in there. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to call that dead. I don't really think there's much more in there. I guess I can squeeze it down there. Watch me dump it all over my shirt. So, funny story. I am very Irish, okay? I'm, I have very Irish heritage, very Irish and proud family, you know. And my boyfriend is very, very Norwegian. Norwegian, whatever you say. Um, and he had never eaten corned beef and cabbage, cabbage ever. So, when he went to the store the other day, he bought me some corned beef and cabbage because it was on sale for St. Patrick's Day coming up. And... Uh, I made him try it, made him, and he like took the teeniest little bite, made him try it, and uh, his reaction to it was quite funny, and uh, it made me a sad Irish person, I will say that much. <laughs> Their sweet, free, sweet tea and fries are, yeah, pretty much, uh, they're, they're pretty damn good. <laughs> Um, their sweet tea, I really, really like their sweet tea. Uh, there's not very many other places except for maybe McAllister's. I did not make corned beef and cabbage rolls. I just made plain old corned beef and cabbage. I didn't even make potatoes in it because I know he wouldn't eat the potatoes. But uh, I think I've got enough paint now. <laughs> I think that's enough. All right. Okay. Now we get to play with it. I just get some of this used up on there. But yeah. Do I like gunny oh Guinness beer? I'm not a fan of Guinness really. I it's a little dark for me. 
Speaking of bear, I think I'm going to have one. I don't usually have them when, when daddy's not at home, but I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm kind of thirsty anyway. And I feel like a traitor right now because my boyfriend works for a KU and I'm wearing Duke. But hey, second hand, you get what you get. So I'm drinking. Oh, that is so gross. That one needs to go. These are probably a month old by now. My boyfriend claims they're just fine. But he is very wrong. <clears throat> he does not like potatoes. I, the only way he will eat, he loves french fries, mind you. But he will not eat potatoes any other way other than tater tots and french fries. So uh, it's, it's complete blasphemy and it's, it's, just, it's just wrong. It, it kills me. Um, the thing, like, I love potatoes, but because he does not eat potatoes, it becomes very hard to, like, cook a meal that, you know, like, becomes hard to cook the right potato thing. And so I'm used to a family of seven. I grew up in a family of seven, you know, so I still tend to cook like I'm in a family of seven. And um, so... He always buys me potatoes, big freaking five pound bag of potatoes for me and doesn't tell me that he bought them and puts them in the cupboard and I completely forget they're there. Last time I forgot they were for there for so long that I was smelling this smell in my kitchen and I'm like, what the heck? There's something rotten in here. I went through my fridge. And then I went through my bottom cupboard and there was a whole bag of potatoes that had just liquefied. I mean, liquefied everywhere. I'm like, I did not even know there were potatoes in my house. He's like, yeah, I got those back then. And I told you, I'm like, yeah, no, you didn't. So liquefied potatoes that I had to clean up and it was horrific. Just absolutely horrific. Oh my God. But yeah, he does not like potatoes. He also does not like cheese or almost any vegetable. So yeah, it drives me bonkers. I'm working on his vegetable in vegetable though, because he's got such an unhealthy diet because literally he eats like chicken and pizza and things like that. And it's like, he's not got nutritionally what he needs. And I can tell it affects his, his gut. So I'm working on that with him. All right, Zach, it was nice having you in here. Have a great night. Sleep tight. I'm just going to chill and paint. Unfortunately, this takes longer to dry than the spray paint does, but oh well. We're just going to we're just going to sit here and chat and paint tonight, guys. Parsnips and the cabbage soup. Ew. See, I don't like parsnips. I love cabbage. I could eat cabbage all damn day. But parsnips are just not my thing. And yes, I have tried them. <laughs> so I should check and make sure that my daddy is not online. Waiting for me to get on there. Oh, of course. Oh, no, that's all. Okay. All right. No. That my tablet was trying to say people are in there, and I'm like, wait a minute, I know those people went to bed. <laughs> or were not to bed, but went out for a while. I have my own Discord thing that I have with, like, my very, very close uh, AB friends. Like, my daddy's in there. Our third, our third person in our family is there. Things like that. It's kind of a family group, like, sort of. That was too much paint. I think I'm going to have to switch paintbrushes here soon because this one's a little bit big. But yeah. 
It's a good thing my cat is asleep right now because oh, he's going to end up painted one during this process. I will say that much. He is just, I guarantee that at some point this weekend, he will be painted. And then he'll have to get a bath and he'll hate that. So. And duly, I hate onions and I hate any form of pea, black eye pea, anything like that. Yuck, yuck. I like beans, but I don't like peas. Alrighty, I probably shouldn't have painted that part of it. But I need, uh, oh, that was bad. That was going to be bad. But yeah, so. Get the bottom painted for now. And then I can switch to the fun part. So yeah, last night I printed up some of my stickers that I sell and make and all that to put on this. I'm hopefully going to do some cute little designs on it. We'll see. It's going to be pretty decked out if I can manage that. We shall see. We shall see. But I know that this particular part, or this particular part is going to take at least two coats. Well, I'm not, I'm only doing like, this is just the first coat to cover, to cover up. There's going to be an additional coat. There's going to be painted designs and stuff on this. It's no, this is by no means what it's going to look like. This is just the lit, the first coat. And this is only the bottom. So. I'm, I'm, I have to say, I like to eat a lot of different things. Um, I like Italian. It's not my, like it's not my favorite thing, but I do like it. There's a spot that needs to be painted better. And I kind of just want this to have a little bit of a. There we go. All right, let's see. And more beer. Always more beer. My cat accidentally ate beer one time, or drank beer, and that was kind of funny. Okay. And then while we let this dry, I'm going to hang, I will be, uh, putting some snaps and some diapers because I was supposed to send them out today and I uh, didn't end up doing it because my sleeping schedule got changed. So I got to get those out tonight or tomorrow. I'm still trying to decide what I've, I kind of want to paint a Pikachu on the front of this. I do have like a bunch of stencils that I've made of him or not stencils, but like drawings that I've made of him that I could really transfer to this and paint him. I, I, I should have done that. I should have like drawn that on the primer, but that's okay. But yeah, this coat you can completely see straight straight through the white still pretty much either that or my paint's just not real mixed mexican mexican is good we have a a little local place down the road from us and they uh have some freaking amazing queso um i get their uh is it carne asada? No, it's not carne. Is it carne asada? They have this like carne asada burrito thing that they do with like green sauce and whatnot, but I'm not a fan of green sauce. 
but I had the brilliant idea. How about I just get them to put queso all over it and inside it instead of the green sauce? And oh my God, it is the best. Well, that was way too much. It is the best Mexican dish I have had. And I like to make Mexican, so like I really enjoyed it. It was so good. Does your boyfriend like when you act bratty after he had a bad day at work? No. Um, eh, that gets me spanked and sent to bed. If that is the case. Um, I'm not a particular bratty baby anyway. Uh, if anything, I because I have such a young little age, instead I don't usually run, I'm not usually bratty. Um, I am more of fussy. I want daddy to snuggle me, you know, I, I want, you know, bottle, I want to be cuddled, you know, all that stuff. But I'm not naughty on purpose almost ever. <laughs> I'm not a brat. My sissy, on the other hand, is. She's a bit of a brat. And he, it's, he doesn't mind it, you know, daddy doesn't mind it to some degree. But, uh. Why are you pinging me? Now she's pinging me. What is she doing? Give me a sec here. Oh, God. I get the save gift 25 million times. Uh, but yeah, Mexican. I hate. I well, okay. I can't say I hate Indian food, but um, my stomach hates Indian food. <laughs> I have tried and tried and tried. Which is being, who is being a bit ready in the middle of the live stream. Uh, I passed through your town a few days ago. Skipped the tunnel, went down K-10. Yeah, no kidding. Who is being a bit bratty in the middle of a live stream? Not me. I'm not bratty. I'm never bratty, really. I'm too little to be a brat. <laughs> That's kind of the, the gist of it. All right, there's some of the color on there. You can't see it very well on this stupid camera. Oh, that's my that's 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 Zelly. That's that's my sissy. She's bored. She wants to talk. And uh, I mean, I could put her on video, but or on on a video call while we do this. But I don't know if that's really the most appropriate thing. I might be able to add her to my Google Hangout. But then she might have, she might end up telling things I don't want people to hear. <laughs> That's one problem when you have a big sister. She likes the tattle a lot. I guessed that. I guessed that, by the way. Eh. This part is the hardest part to paint. Ugh. Eh. I am getting covered in paint. Just absolutely covered in paint. How do I know? Oh, do I know? Do I now? Huh? Are you watching me, Zilly? How do you keep little space separate from adult space? Um, hi, Zelly. I don't very well. Um, not that well. It's kind of always a I'm 
very much in between. Like right now I'm fairly big, but I'm also fairly in little headspace. It's just a matter of which one is more forefront in my mind. Because I'm always little. I'm just somewhat playing. I'm an adult. She's my big sis is chatting to me over here on Telegram, and she's in here, but I haven't seen her post in there yet. So yeah. Is she says that I don't ever keep it separate, but I do a good job at it. I do too do a good job at it. Or at least a good job at attempting. Because I'm too lazy to sign into YouTube. Do it. Come on. Just do it. Aren't you like always signed into YouTube? I mean, come on. Metal. Tell Zelly to get her butt in here. Tell her to sign in and get her butt in here. Oh, I can't get that in there. It's too tiny. This is a crap ton of paint that I mixed up for this. Like, it's all the way up to there. Running away and talking to dead. Hey, Zelly. Tell him to message me. If he's at second job. At least to just say hi. Ugh. This looks this looks really good next to the white. So anyway, I got this idea for this thing to do this from uh, So Craftastic on YouTube. Uh, she does a lot of different crafting videos, uh, things like that, and. I happened upon this one and I thought, my God, that's a freaking amazing idea. And I found this thing for 15 bucks. I could have gone cheaper, but ugh, I really wanted some. Oh crap. Now I just painted on myself, but I really wanted something decent and that would fit. Okay. See, so she's gone. I'm closing the screen because there's a gif of Stewie running around a car over and over in my face. <laughs> but. I mean, this almost looks good enough with just its first coat, really. But perfectionist me. <laughs> Get your sketch button. Get your skish money. <laughs> nah, she went out. She went away to talk to Daddy, probably because he's at second job now, or at least I would hope. What time is it? Yeah, he should be at second job now. <clears throat> but uh, I probably won't live stream incredibly long tonight. But at least I thought I'd pop in. Because I have to figure some video stuff out as well tonight. Because I'm supposed to upload tomorrow afternoon. And I kind of changed my plan on how I was going to do the video. So. Getting this thing properly covered took me almost a whole can of spray paint. I thought there would be more in there. And I kind of went crazy. Like I went to, we, our Hobby Lobby here just moved and uh, I didn't watch that by the way. Um, but I went to our, our Hobby Lobby. I don't normally go to Hobby Lobby cause I was working at Joann's and you know, company loyalty and all. But they moved into this gigantic building. Um, the building used to be a JC Penney's. And uh, so Hobby Lobby and one other store moved in, and it's humongous. Uh, and I was just like, 
I was drooling because they have like such a much bigger selection than what they had previously. So yeah. But yeah, Jesse, I did not watch that show. Um, at least not yet. I may eventually. I'm not usually a huge fan of Seth MacFarlane shows. Like, I like Family Guy and all that, but it's really not my favorite. I like shows that have more meaning and story than just comedy and stuff. Like, there's no real story to follow throughout the whole, um, throughout the whole of Family Guy. It's just kind of like individual episodes that you could really watch out of order most of the time. And I'm more of a series type person than that. Like, I like the storyline that moves on. You started insulin today? Oh. Well, I guess that'll help you feel better. Kind of sucks to be having to take it, but, you know. Okay, I'm about to the point where I have to switch brushes. Oh, God, 550. It's pretty bad. Sign in, need channel. Fuck that, I'm going to know you on here. What? Ugh, she's gonna watch, but wait, did you try calling daddy Zilly and he didn't, he didn't, uh, and he didn't answer? The Orville is the most Star Trek like show lately. Even, uh, I have not watched Orville yet, but sorry, I am extremely loyal to actual Star Trek. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be hard pressed to, for me to think that anything is actually better than Star Trek. I haven't finished Discovery yet either. I would love to, but I have not finished it. So, um, but yeah, I am, I am a hard, diehard Trekkie and while Orville does look good, I don't know. It's just still not Star Trek. I mean, granted. Star Trek has different characters now, but still, at least Star Trek is always Star Trek, you know? It's always done by the same people. Well, it was until they got really old, but... I have watched all of the... Don't post that gif, Zelly. Diabetes runs in my family. I'm hoping you don't get it, but I'm hoping I don't get it. <laughs> this ice cream and cake. Um, yeah. Yeah, that would suck. So you've got type 1 CP and incontinence. Wow, that's that's a pretty rough deal. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I, I like Discovery. I am just... It's just me and my Star Trek love, but I liked it so far. I've only seen like two or three episodes, but I like it. But uh, I think Next Generation will always and forever be my favorite series of Star Trek. Then probably, ooh, that's a toss-up. I really did like Deep Space Nine. I just hate Cisco. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I like Deep Space Nine, just not Cisco. I like Voyager a lot. Um, <laughs> you're fine. No worries. Uh, now I can see what I missed. There we go. Oof, that's too much meat. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Getting this part is the hardest part. It's like really hard to get this little well in there. Oh no, now I dropped it. Damn it, don't do that. You gotta let that dry first. Before we paint that, we gotta paint that. All right, I need to rinse this brush out a little bit. And more beer. I am tempted to steal one of daddy's, uh, he has basically alcoholic Mountain Dew type thing in there. And I am so tempted to steal one. So sorely tempted. Not gonna, but I want to. But half the people with cerebral palsy that I know have partial or full incontinence. Why is incontinence so high in mid-level? Um, probably because it's, you know, a muscle could it's a neurological thing in that case um it's just if you don't have the if you're you know have limited use of legs and things like that it's probably the reasons that it's affecting your legs a lot is why it would affect your bladder especially depending on how you know because it if it's a spinal thing you got you know it's very affected And this brush sucks for this job. Okay. I think the brush I want is actually already in my water. This one might work. We'll give this one a shot. <laughs> oh, I just thought of something that would be kind of cool with this. If I kind of dry brushed, like tie dyed it a little bit, that would be really cool. I might have painted it the wrong color for the color tie dyes I'd want to do, but that's okay. Trying not to walk over, knock over my paint water. Have I seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I have not. Um, I'm not Marvel fan person. The all the Marvel stuff kind of just seemed the same to me. It's like okay, it just gets boring to me. I watched the first few Marvel shows and or Marvel uh, movies and liked it, but I just kind of lost interest in it over time. I suppose I don't really need to paint that particular spot very much because it's going to get messed up. <clears throat> Diaper Tina babies on the workbox. What? What is that? Diaper. Oh, diaper tie dye babies. Oh. Um, nah. I'm kind of more keeping this, like, instead of it being completely ABDL-themed, um, even though I am AB, but um, I want to keep it kind of, like, more of, like, my likes and dis like my likes that I have on here. Like, um, I've got some monkey stickers I made, things like that. Like, different things that I like, you know, to to do or have or, like, you know, things like that. Like, I love Pikachu, you know. Things like that, but I do have a few stickers, like AB stickers I'm going to put on here. A couple. But for the most part, it's kind of just going to be more of my personality. Than anything. Logged on, spent time with my little Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Um... 
I don't have a sponge. I have done that in the past. Um, quite a bit. But I don't have the right, I don't have any sponges to do that with. I mean, I have one like paint sponge thing right here. But I have, I have a hatred of these things. So if I were to do sponging, it would be like actual like cut out shapes and things like that. Sea sponges and whatnot. Um, John, yes. Yes, my little side has a completely different name. Um, completely different name. And I find myself going by that more often than my actual name. How am I feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good today. Little bit tired because I was up all night. But I'm doing pretty good. How, as far as like what I was going through last week, I'm doing way better. Um, so far this week, I think we're seizure free. Knock on wood. But we'll see if that lasts. It's good to be seizure free, but it's bad to be seizure free at the point at this point because um, while I'm going through the process of disability, having the seizures is good to prove to them why I'm applying um, and show them that I actually do have this issue. So, yeah. Helped her with craft box today. I know who that is. I think. Wait a minute. Kelly Huffman. with craft box. Like me. Is John my mommy named Eugenie Addison? Oh, that's cute. I actually have a friend whose name is Addison. He doesn't go by Addison, but that's his name, his first name. A lot of people have different names. I mean, like, the majority of the people I know um, have a different name for their little side. I need to get this. I, I'm going to end up drinking that water. That's a bad thing. Oh. Ah, got to stretch. But, uh, like, I actually ended up kind of picking my little name. Um, and it was basically, I've always had a special attachment to, oh, I painted on my computer. <laughs> I've always had a special attachment to um, the name Chloe since I was a very young child. And there we go. Now it's my name. I find that most of my incontinence is most stress and anxiety or deeper depressed side and or really hypermanic side. I'm starting to feel like that. Nope. I did not take a nap. Did I have ABDL feelings before I started having health problems? That is kind of a yes and no question. Um, there's always been indications as a child. I don't have a ton of memories of any real, true um, desires as a kid. I remember it's either a dream or a memory. I'm not sure which one. Um, I snuck one of my baby sister's diapers, went into the back hallway and put it on. Um, but I don't know if it's a dream or a memory. I think it's a memory, but I'm not 100% positive. Now oh, that's what I thought. Okay, we're going to give this a second and I'm going to go find... Nope. Hang on, I gotta grab a battery or a charger for this real quick. Oh. Okay. <sighs> mm. 
<laughs> being told to take a nap. I have to stay up all night. <laughs> yes, but you know I need to. Did Daddy say so? My little has kidney disease. Ah, yes. Um, but like I was saying, I didn't really know what it was even until I started exploring uh, support groups for incontinence. Then I found out and I'm like, oh shit, that is so me. And with all being so ill, it really did help me cope with all the changes that I've had. TMJ, oh, TMJ sucks. I've actually got very, very, very mild TMJ. Not anywhere near bad enough to do anything about. Um, no, I did not have any of the seizures before any of the health issues. Up until I was about 14, no. Yeah, like 14-ish, I think. Whenever I got genetically tested for my genetic disease, I was a fairly healthy kid. I did have asthma as a child and allergies as a child, but we didn't really, um, we didn't have the asthma diagnosed and we didn't have allergies diagnosed either. So, but for the most part, I was a fairly healthy kid. Wake him up if he's late because you couldn't. I will nap soon. Now I have to ask Daddy a question because I think she's lying. And my phone's not charging like it's supposed to be. Yay. Oh, let's not paint all the cords. I had all my wisdom teeth taken out. That's about it. Did you tell Belly? I love that I have to confirm with Daddy if he told me. So the thing is, if I don't I can take a coffee and I can go, no problem. But that being said, I am not going to do the second coat of this tonight. I am only doing first coat. That's why I mixed the paint up in the container I did so that it has storage. All right, we're hitting the back. I think we probably have enough dry on the front to be able to lay this down on its back and sides, or front and sides, I should say. Did you? Uh, hang on. I tried. I tried to take a nap, but I couldn't. Trying was actually not that good of a good of a word. I did try, but not in my career. Yes, Ty, I have been uh, doing art since a very, very young age. Zilly does not currently live with us, so technically no. But um, Ty, my mother is an amazing artist. And uh, she's been teaching me art since I was like, oh God, really young. Um, I remember being in second grade, if not younger than that. But um, my, my best memories of art, when I was in second grade, I was homeschooled. I have been homeschooled. My, I was homeschooled my whole life. Um, and uh, when we, we always had, uh, at the end of a week in our spelling book, we had to write a letter and uh, use our words that we learned to spell over the week. And so I guess this was probably first grade, in all honesty. Um, 
So I would always beg my mom, can I do a story and draw a picture? And I still have the book to this very day. It's sitting right up there. I have a little book of stories that I've written and drawn illustrations for and everything. And uh, I continued that all throughout my life. Um, when I was in, officially in second grade, I believe, I entered into one of her art classes. We had a homeschool group that my mom taught art class at once a week for fourth through sixth graders. And I was in second grade and, you know, cause I was her kid. Um, she always took me along, even though only my older sister was the age range for the class. But I, I followed right along with the kids. Um, and I, actually some of my favorite art pieces to this day are ones that I created in that, in that class. Um, so yes, art has been a very, very big part of my life. And it's just becoming more and more so. Um, and I consider my sewing an art really as well it's you know it's quite it kind of gets the same excitement going in me that art does and you know it really is truly art because i am creating regardless and uh it's it's really wonderful um all of my siblings all of us all five of us can uh have some pretty amazing art skills my oldest sister and me and my youngest sister are the only ones that have really truly pursued it at all. Um, it's it's really neat. My my younger sister and I often communicate with um, pictures that we've painted and drawn. Do you like Burger King milkshake or McDonald's milkshake? Oh, honestly, I have to go with McDonald's. Mostly because shamrock shake and eggnog shake and pumpkin pie shake. So yeah, definitely McDonald's. I I like. I don't know. It's a toss up when it comes to their food, which one I like more. But I tend to go to Burger or not Burger King, McDonald's more, because it's closer. Our Burger King is like. Well, it's actually not that closer. It's not closer at all. It's only literally like 500 feet difference. <laughs> what I'm craving right now are things that I should not have as well. I really, really want a freaking candy bar. Like so bad right now. But I'm not going to do that because... See, when I first moved to Kansas, let me see how that looked. Yeah, we got a couple of bits on there. Okay. Um, when I first moved to Kansas, they really didn't have hardly any of the specialty shakes. Um, when I lived in New York, they always had, every season, there was a specific specialty shake. You know, in, in uh, March, they had the Shamrock Shake. They had the February. Um, remember they had? They had pumpkin pie. Uh, Christmas, they had eggnog. And, like, they did not have that here when I first moved in for some reason. At least the one we lived by at the time. Now they do. And oh, love it. That's a very natural thing, Jess. Very natural. Um, Please don't wait, 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 wait. You better not fail me, please don't. I won't. Um, I'm very much of, I love blues and greens. Um, teals, blues, greens, all that stuff. And I think I'm going to have to probably not paint this other side tonight. I've kind of gone as far as I can. I'm going to get started on King now. Okay. okay. Um, I tend to, I don't really, I don't paint that much when I, I don't paint paintings very often. Are you also craving any really mild, not strong curry? I can't eat curry. I cannot eat curry. My favorite food is, ooh. 
I really, really, really love things like steak and barbecue and things like that. Um, that is probably like my favorite type of food to eat. But my favorite meal, I would have to say, is probably corned beef and cabbage. I wait all year for it to go on sale around St. Patrick's Day. And love it. Love it, love it. Can I do you a favor? What would that favor be, John? What do you think has the better fries, Burger King McDonald's? Um, we do not have Crystal, White Castle, or Rallies, uh, or Checkers around here for that matter. Well, we have a Checkers grocery store. I'm not sure if that's what you mean. We just have McDonald's, Burger King. Um, we have a local place called Burgers by Biggs. Most amazing food ever. They have the best french fries in town. They have the best burgers in pretty much the whole state. They are amazing. Um, I love their fries. Honestly, though, I am a huge, huge sweet potato fry fan. And the only place around here that's really done sweet potato fries justice was Applebee's. Um, theirs, theirs are just so good. Give me a good uh, slab of ribs and... Uh, some coleslaw and sweet potato fries, and I'm happy as a clam. I will do that. I will do that. I do not get them very often. I only get like one or two a, a season. So I will think of you when I have one next. I love me some red meat. I'm a bit of a carnivore. I will say that much. I like my meat. Um, if I could eat like meat, potatoes, veggie all the time, I would. Um, but I cannot, unfortunately, because I don't, I just don't digest it well. I, I digest potatoes okay if they're like baked potatoes and, or mashed potatoes, but I can't, I don't digest fries all that well. So I, if I eat it, I kind of pay for it. And we are almost complete with the first coat, at least everything but the one side. I think, I don't know, can I do the other side? I got you. Is on a Discord. Wait till daddy does not have to work his side. Garlic, mashed potatoes, smoked brisket. Oh, yes. Um, our whole household loves meat. <laughs> um, favorite meal when we go to my boyfriend's family is uh, his dad will smoke a brisket uh, or pull and do pulled pork and stuff like that. So, like, yeah, we all freaking love meat. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, first. Oh. First outfit is always the most awesome thing. Um that's awesome. I have yet to actually buy an outfit uh, for like an AB outfit per se, but I think that eventually, I mean, I make my own stuff. I've made overalls. I made onesies, all that stuff, um, but I've never like bought an, a full blown outfit. So I will eventually buy an outfit. I kind of know what one I want. Did you try smoked turkey? I love smoked turkey. I love anything smoked, pretty much. Got my little... Aw, that's so sweet. A little locket. Aw. It's, it's, that's really cute. I don't think my bird's being weird. 
I don't know if I fed my cat tonight. Um, we have some, being in Kansas, we have some really good barbecue in town. Um, burgers by Big, or not Big, not Burgers by Bigs, Bigs Barbecue. It's run by the same people. They have amazing barbecue. Dickie's has really good barbecue. Um, I hear Beamer's has really good barbecue. I've never been to Beamer's before. Um, just because they're they're the type, they're a restaurant where they they cook a certain amount of meat, and when they open up, they're open until it's gone, and then that's it. They close. Kansas's bar barbecue is great. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's so cute. I want to make outfits like that, John. Um, I One day, when I have the right software to do so, I will definitely be like making and designing my own <laughs> patterns for things like that. Because um, like even for just AB girls, there's, there's a lot of stuff on the market that is really girly. But a lot of it is also more like it is the sissy look a lot of times or the, you know, and some of us girls are a little more tomboyish. We would rather just have something not necessarily overalls, but something that's still girly, but not like ruffles and frills and everything. And I want to design some stuff like that. I also want to design some little boy outfits as well, you know, stuff in general like that. And there's a piece of us down here and down here. But I think the first coat is done. Yeah, yeah. Except for a few little spots here and there, but that'll get fixed up. I gotta let it dry. Oh. I gotta let it dry enough to work on some other stuff. So that's why we do two coats. All right, let's see. So let me get my lid and get this taken care of because I don't want to. Oh, now I gotta paint that over again. Shit. Hey there, with cup. I just need a teeny tiny brush. Where's my teeny weeny brush? There you are. Because I just put a fingerprint right in there. That's too much paint. And Smith Falls, Fort Hamilton, has really. Oh, what is the other place that has really good barbecue? I know there's another place. I'm trying to think. Is it Biggs? Am I thinking about Biggs? I don't know. There we go. Touch up there. And I think that the first coat is done. All right. Let me go get this covered up before I dump it. So I'm so used to when I cover up these particular dishes, they go in the fridge and I almost just put my paint in the fridge. Are you trying to get out? Are you stuck in there? <whistles> Hi, buddy. Are you talking to the peoples? Come here. Come here. Oh, baby. What do you think about peek I have not tried the peekaboo yet. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Does daddy like to make barbecue? Yes. My daddy loves to grill. Um, our buddy has a huge smoker. He loves to smoke the stuff, and we love barbecue. Cute kitty. This is Snitch. If none of you have met him yet, this is Snitch. Uh, he's an eight-year-old Siamese. He's my baby. He literally follows me everywhere. Um, I had, I turned the dryer on before this so that he would lay on there and just chill. Hi, baby. I know. He's purring like a madman right now. Hi, sweetie. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're my good boy. 
you know. But um, yeah, um, John, I hope to try them. I really need to contact Casey and see if he'll send some my way to do a video for him. Because I haven't seen a video yet. I know that there was an A-disc review on it. But I uh, have not seen an actual like YouTube video of it. Wait, you've tried them? You've tried the ABUs or the peekaboo? I thought they hadn't so sent them out yet. They are really cute. Um, I'm definitely interested to see how it is. I will for sure be buying some to try. Oh, you want kisses? Oh, thank you. Kisses, thank you. But yeah. Um, as far as cuteness goes, I think still hands down Tigables. <laughs> I think they will probably always be my favorite. Bill Snitch, you said hi. He says hi. He's just purring and wanting me to kind of go lay on the couch and snuggle for now. And he thinks it's food time because he still thinks he's on his old food schedule. I'll give you a snack. How's that? I'll give you a little snack. <laughs> but he's he's being trained a bit. I'm training him how to sit on command, and I am training him how to uh, like do up to get something. I think it's a bummer that you're not able to work. Makes me happy to have him. I liked working. I worked at Joanne Fabrics, and that's like my one of my favorite stores. So I really do kind of miss it a lot and uh you know i miss the people i miss interacting but my body just cannot handle it you know and i'm pretty sure i have to go to the neurologist before too long because i think i'm having some other neurologic symptoms that i'm gonna need to get checked out uh being truly incontinent yes we do have to have them functioning uh regardless of look they have to function Oh, yeah, Metal. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't read his review of them yet, but I, I, I'm i interested to see what they're like. Um, and I, I'll definitely give them a good, you know, an actual test with urine. See how it works. You know, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of ABUs. I, I wear them pretty much all the time at the moment. Because Tykeables are never in stock when I'm able to get diapers, so. Um, but yeah, this cat is seriously just sitting here adoring me. All kisses, thank you. That is very rough. <laughs> Hi, baby. This is literally what he will do all day. Big moron function. Yeah. Uh, same thing. You need to go the other way, Snitch. Okay, that's a good way. Function. Oh, Matt Foreman is evil. Um, funny thing, John, is uh, a lot of my friends who are diabetic uh, also call it shit for me. And I have literally teal paint all, well, all over my hands, but all over my computer. <laughs> Thankfully, it's acrylic paint and it just scrapes right off. But yeah, this is this is the aftermath of me painting. It's it's pretty bad. You can't even see it all that well, but yeah, it's bad. It's like everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, function. I always go for function over cuteness. Um, I like the fact that a lot of the AB companies have a white version and a printed version that are basically the same. So I do I do tend to purchase the. Uh, purchase the the plain colored ones because they're like twenty dollars cheaper so i'm not going to pay twenty dollars just to have a cute diaper it's not funny but it is yes um i think there was a time forever ago that for some reason they put me on metformin been wearing crinkles. Yeah, I, I used up my case. I got 50% off already, but I did. There is a uh, $10 coupon going on right now. So I just bought mine for 109 with shipping. <laughs> Pretty.
programmer, so the additive tech, it will always be able to work where I do. That's nice. See, if I had something like that, yeah, I would. Um, I would do that. But because I've been kind of put in this situation where I can't work outside my house right now, it kind of was the, the opportunity I've wanted to really try and give my home business another go. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to paint this. I don't think I'm going to because it's just going inside the thing. And then these go up here. Yay. Oh, I'm super excited about this thing. I know it's such a trivial little thing, but it's, it's, it's something I'm excited about. The cat is sitting over there staring at me. You want me to come sit with you? I know. <laughs> I got to clean up my mess a little bit. I can't just leave it a mess. Uh, I have tried one of the new Tykables. Um, when we went for a trip to Utah, Daddy tried to put one on me because I'm like, just try it. And he ripped the tape on me. And uh, he was like, nope, it doesn't fit. Well, I decided to just bring one home with me from the trip just, in just because I wanted to be like able to do a video and kind of show a first look for those who haven't gotten to see it. And I, I put it on and it fit. So I was I was very happy about that. Is this the one with the B? Yes, it is. <laughs> I was very happy about that fact. And as soon as I have the money to actually buy them, I'm going to be purchasing some. Wow. 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 Really? Really? You think? Okay. Uh, you got four cases. I hate you, Metal. Send them to me. <laughs> I need some. It's just that I don't have, because I'm incontinent, I don't have the luxury of waiting till, like, I could go order some, yeah, but I don't have the luxury of waiting till they're back in stock. You know, it's like, I can't. So I had to at least order some. Um, I have a buddy who said he's going to order some for me at some point. We'll see. Um, they, he certainly doesn't have to. He just says he wants to. But in the time being, you know, I'm down to a, cake, a pack and a half of diapers right now. And it's like, okay, I don't have till mid-March to wait. Even though it is almost mid-March. But I don't have the ability to wait that long for diapers to come in. So I had to order crinkles because I can get them in two days. So that's, that's kind of, it sucks, but that's the reality of it. Once I am making, oh, let's see the crazy hair. Woo! -hoo! This is what happens when you braid thick hair. Um, once I have a little bit more income and stuff from the business, I will definitely be saving up uh, money to order some so that I can try to maybe get on a schedule with it a little bit. You need them also. Don't use adult baby diapers because other caregivers change me. Yeah, I mean, I can understand that. Um, for me personally, I don't give a shit anymore. I was in the in the hospital and they were the diapers at the hospital were so terrible that I just brought mine and they thought they were cute. Um, I had many, many nurses comment on how... You know, if you have to wear diapers, it's not really fair that you have to just wear a plain white underwear all the time. They're like, we wear printed underwear. Um, I had one that actually was like, look, I have I have really cute underwear on, you know. And she's like, you should have the, the ability to wear cute underwear, too, even if it is a diaper. So, like, that's one thing for me. I'm so blessed. I've never had a negative. Okay. Never a true negative reaction. <laughs> actually, they don't suck. That's the issue. Yeah. Well, they're not supposed to suck, per se, Metal. They're supposed to absorb. They're supposed to soak, not suck. Yes, I know you want foods. Yeah, it's just, like, I think a lot of the nurses that I had in the hospital realized that they were, like, when I was in the hospital, especially this one day, 
um, they were changing my diaper and my bed every hour because I'm on fluids because I have an att a blockage and everything. And um, so they were changing my diaper every hour and I had to change the whole bed every time because one pee and boom, the diaper was done. The bed was soaked. And um, I had a nurse's aide one night. I've actually, I had her many, many times, but this is the first time I'd had her post incontinence. And um, she was the sweetest thing. She was on for like two hours before I, it was bedtime. And she came in right before bed to do my vitals and everything. And she's like, you know what? I noticed that we've been like, I've been looking at your chart and we've literally been changing your diaper like every hour and we have to change the whole bed and everything. And she's like, I will literally, she's like, I want you to sleep tonight. <laughs> so she's like, I will come in and I will check your bed and your diaper every half hour. And that way we can try to avoid some of this leaking. And I swear that made my heart so pleased because she did that all night long. She did that. Like she was still on when I woke up for my next round of meds and literally she's like, I've checked on you every half hour. And she's like, she changed. I do vaguely remember her changing me. Um, one night, like she kind of just had to wake me up to roll me over and stuff. And like, but she did it in such a way that she left most of the lights off and she changed me and, all she had to have me was roll over once and it was just like she was so sweet and like that nurse that nurse's aide I remember for the rest of my life uh because she was just so stinking sweet and honestly in the hospital I was in all of my nurses they would have fights every day to see because they wanted me as their patient so that was kind of funny like there was one aide who threw a royal freaking fit if he was on, would you get off my deep fryer, please? If he was on staff um, while I was there, he demanded to have me. Even if I, like, because the way they split it up was one aide had one side of the room or side of the floor and the other aide had the other. And he would, he would do that, but he would throw a fit. Even if he didn't get it, he would still come in and do all my stuff for me. Like he'd come in and check on me. This guy brought his personal DVD player in for me through one of my stays. Like that, that's what I was so grateful to this hospital because they were all so amazing. Um, thankfully they don't really go in my, in my case, I never had it leak on the floor unless I was standing up when I peed. But yeah. Um, All right, y'all. I got about two hours before my daddy gets home or so. Actually, no, because he just got started. Um, so I've got like four hours. And I really do need to try and get a little bit of a nap in. Wow. As soon as I feed you, yes, never fear. I will not go take a nap without feeding you. Um, but I do need to get some rest at least so I can actually make it up till 4.30 in the morning. It shouldn't be that hard. Staying up till 4. <laughs> yeah john i i do feel bad for the guys that have to deal with that um but the thing to think about is nurses see that every day every day and it doesn't really phase them anymore you know but all right guys i am going to let you all go it was wonderful hanging out with you for a little while and I'm so excited that you guys are enjoying the live streams. I don't always have stuff that I can really do during the live streams because when I'm sewing, I can't live stream because it's just too loud. Um, but as you all can see, this is the pile of sewing projects. So I've got sleeper, sleeper, and sleeper. This is mine. Excuse me. And these two are for customers. So most of the other people are super old. So they all like me because I'm their age. <laughs> Oh, but yep. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for hanging out on stream and watching me paint myself like crazy. Um, it has been, it has been wonderful and I will see you next time. I should have a video up tomorrow. Um, uh, it's probably going to be looking like this because I'm covered in paint and that's how it's going to go. <laughs>
But yeah. Okay, I'll take this one question real quick. Can you request to be diapered in the hospital instead of cast? That I'm not sure of. I know in my case, um, they've kind of insisted on a cath following surgeries. But after that, I kind of refused to be catheterized because they would always try to catheterize me because the incontinence and they couldn't keep track of it as well. And um, so they always tried, but because of the way my muscles are in there, it just caused severe, severe spasms. And I couldn't handle being cathed um, while I, I, like if they cathed me while I was awake was when I had a problem. It just, my muscles wouldn't relax. Um, so yeah, but uh, I guess you probably could, but they have reasons for catheterizing usually. Um, if you are having issues, they will probably catheterize you because they need to keep track of it. So uh, it just it just depends on the hospital and the patient. But yeah. And yes, tomorrow is Friday, so it's it's video day. Yep. Uh, it probably won't be up to like four ish. I've kind of been trying to uh, just because I seem to get better response and views if I kind of post it like Friday afternoon when people are kind of getting home and stuff. So I usually try to post it a little bit later. So, all right, y'all love you so much. Thank you. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye. If I can figure out it, there it is.